This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Jack Threads. Coming up, we've tallied the results and we've got a winner in this year's Oscar wager. Totally Rad Show. annual Academy Awards aired about two weeks ago. A month ago. and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> and as you know, we had put in place a wager mm. uh, a couple weeks before. Well, here are our results. Correct. And by results, I mean how many did you get right? <laughs> so you got 14. 14. Not, mm, not I, a great year for me. No. Uh, I got 13. Oh, wow. Less of a good year. Yeah. I got 16. Yeah, you, you seem like defenses. you got more. You I feel like I might have gotten more, but I just... That was you bet heavily for... on Hugo. I bet heavily on Hugo. The, 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 the big a... surprises were the, the sound mixing and sound editing for Hugo, Mind cinematography mind. for Hugo. And visual, and, uh, visual effects. No, no, I didn't no, do the visual, visual effects. effects. I thought it was going to no, go No, you to... didn't, but the visual effects went to Hugo. Yeah. Instead of Party on the Apes. I know, I know. which was so crazy. Visual effects Which heavy. is as r ridiculous as Golden Compass winning one year for visual effects for its bear instead of trance. For, instead of the real robots that they built inside computers. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. another year. They could have shot a bear and just um, been like, move its By the way, not that Hugo is bad sound no. or special effects. It just seems like, I don't know. But you know what? I don't it really know. It was weird because, well, when this worked, thing, so. and I will say, as this started and I was sort of tearing off wins, um, and I should go back and count because I feel like I had way more than you, and that's not that's only, only two. two. Well, you had way we more. missed a couple. Starting out, you were like boom, 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 boom. But then I, I scored on the on the ones that were just out, out of my ass pulls, like yeah, like the book, the flying yeah. books, and the shore, and yeah. But like I did that with Saving just... Face, and you know what I mean. But I missed a couple in there, the documentary, and the other ones right. that you nailed a couple. But uh, but it was weird because as that was starting, <laughs> what we were seeing was. What we were seeing was things that were going to other movies than the artist. And it really got me, because I bet heavy on the artist, but I bet heavy on the artist. You know what happened? With like best just, picture director, I was, people were seeing actor, that actress. On, on, I, I was on my Twitter just at the very beginning of the Oscars, uh, but people were commenting on um, the dresses. Oh, wow, this is so, this is a surprise. And I was like, dude, it's just, they're just airing. Usually they start with supporting act. Like, they aired the, yeah. they, they gave the words out in a different order than was typical. Got it, yeah. So it just, That's I why think I it just, that. the technical things were all up front and usually it's like peppered oh, in. But yeah. sometimes if it's a movie's year, it, that wins like 11 awards. But I think awards. we all, it's, I think no one thought that the artist was going to win. All of them. Cinematography yeah. and sound. You know what I mean? Like those things right. all going for Hugo made us all feel, oh. Ooh. Well, yeah, but especially because you know it's not going to be sound mixing and sound editing. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. I mean, even though there may be yeah. some sound in it, it's great. Like, and there's great. And it was mixed very well, but. Yeah. Uh, what really ticked me off, actually, is that the scene that they showed when they showed the artist yeah. was the big spoiler scene. Yeah. Which yeah. pissed me off. Come on, man. And everybody knows it's sort a. Of. Everybody knows it's a. It's a. Uh, I wanted a that silent to be a spoiler film, scene so for like, the movie when I saw the movie. That wasn't a spoiler scene for the it movie. It kind of is. You mean you didn't know, or you knew? No, I wanted the whole movie and the artist. Uh, we reviewed yeah. on the show, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah. But yeah. I understand what you're saying. That you. I thought, oh be... my god, is that what the whole rest of the movie is going to be? Right. And it wasn't. Yeah. It was just a. But the fact know. that it happens at all shouldn't. Yeah. Be yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I trying to remember. I had to, uh, one. I was a little bit. I liked Billy Crystal, but I thought I was going to love. It. I thought it was going to be hilarious. Yeah, it just wasn't hilarious. But it never is. I can't really. Not that. It's never. No, hilarious. I tend to like love it. I tend to love the. Yeah. I love what happened? Stuff. You got older. Yeah, yeah, well, which he, no, theoretically he should older. be. Yeah, but no, but him getting older should actually work for the Oscars in his favor. I don't yeah. think that's the case, guys. No, his, I, his, all, his, I thought his humor are... was very outdated. No, because no, because C. Martin, uh, C. Martin, and Alec Baldwin. Uh, Baldwin. Uh, Chris Rock, because I yeah. saw a thing with Chris. So standout moments for me. Um, there Chris was, Rock was a standout moment. He came out and destroyed yeah, on that stage. He was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, he did that's the animated Yeah, the animated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I loved, um, there was a moment, you guys probably didn't see, on the E-Red Carpet. I did not um, see this. I don't know yeah, what you're talking about. Where, uh, I only watched it's a uh, small moment. A different letter, Red Carpet. The F Red Carpet, the G. Never mind. I don't know, what is that? Don't know what that you is. said the E-Red Carpet. Yeah. Just keep going. Okay. okay. 
<laughs> um, but, uh, oh, there's Song one moment. moment. Jessica Chastain was being interviewed. The Jessica soccer player? Chastain. What? The Just, soccer player? No, actress in uh, Tree of Life and The Help. She was nominated. Oh, no. But um, she's awesome. I think she's awesome. But uh, she was being interviewed, and she brought her grandmother mm. with her, as opposed to a date or what typically happens. Jonah Hill also brought his mom, but... Uh, and when she was being, she was like super humble and excited. I didn't expect her to come off that way. I thought she was a little bit more austere and she was mm -hmm. very cool. But, and her grandma was like watching her, like my, my granddaughter doing it. It was the sweetest, the, like the camera, there's two things with, with like moments like that. That, and then what was the moment, who won the like special award this year? The special award? <laughs> who got up there, you know, was it James Earl Jones and? James Earl Jones, Oprah. And somebody else. Someone else. Something else where the way that it went down on the, on the telecast, you like, oh, who got a standing ovation? Someone got a standing ovation. They Octavia didn't know Davis it. Octavia Davis got a standing ovation, but... Ma it was someone... I'm glad you prepared. Someone, someone, Octavia Davis. Octavia Octavia Spencer. Viola Davis. Octavia yeah. Spencer. Octavia someone Spencer. was walking up. It was an older, older person winning oh, an award. Oh, Christopher Plummer, probably. He and had maybe, a great acceptance Maybe speech, Christopher Plummer. Way. Someone was walking up. Yeah, and, just describe what happened. And the shot, and the or shot was on. on him going up there, and then, and then it cut to the reverse, and we saw the standing ovation, and this person was still just like getting up there and like so shot they get the award, and then we see them, and then we see their reaction to what we just saw, which was the standing ovation. It was like this amazing, like like it was such a genuine. It wasn't like, of course you're gonna give me a standing ovation because I'm winning this. It was like they were like, oh my god, I'm getting that. Like it was this awesome thing. But I don't remember who it was. That's wow. awesome. I thought it was an older person. Uh, it must have I, was, been. I was really actually disappointed. I, I, you know, I thought the artist was fun. And I liked it in a lot of ways. <laughs> don't think it was Best Picture. Uh, it certainly wouldn't have won last year, I don't think. No way. Um, this, but, he, that that might have been, well, no, been you, you enjoyed on the, the list last year. And even though I didn't pick this actor to win Best Actor, I do think it's kind of a crime that Gary Oldman didn't win. And... Hmm. And, and the, he does a lovely job in The Artist. Uh, John Dujardin? Yes. Yeah. He does a lovely job. He's, he's acting in a style that's completely you outdated. You really like Gary Oldman and Tinker Taylor? He, he's fucking spectacular. I don't like I the movie. I didn't see Tinker I didn't Taylor. like the movie. Yeah. I didn't, I, this performance is titanic. It's incredible. You mean he hit an iceberg? I don't remember you uh, <laughs> I mean, he's, um, he's absolutely stunning. I mean, he, it, it's like watching... It, it's, it, the work that he does in it, I think, is... Unbelievable! He's a different guy. Hmm. He and he's playing. He's he's playing a role that was made famous by Al, Al Guinness. There's hmm. like scenes of like of of monologues and theatrical moments that you just can't pull off in movies where he he give he talks to an empty chair and would look ridiculous in the hands of a lesser actor and he makes it work. Hmm. It's a, a almost like he was acting from, acting from a different time. Ah. I, I, <laughs> anyway, I, I didn't care for the movie. Awesome, but. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, awesome. I didn't yeah. see Tinker Taylor. But Taylor, if but. you take away what I thought about the structure of the film and how it was put together with the performance of that mm -hmm. actor, I think hmm. it's really. I mean, I didn't. I didn't even pick him to win because I didn't think that he would, was going to. But right. Right. man, it, it's yeah. what 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 he's asked to do compared to what whose name I can't remember. Jean Dujardin. Jean Dujardin was yeah. asked to do in that mm -hmm. film. Mm -hmm. is, is so, it's not even in the same ballpark. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Uh, what did you think of this year's telecast? Good, I mean it was a little sort of like, though the Oscars happened, you know what I mean? Like there wasn't anything that was, was like, a down year, man. It was just kind of a meh, you know what I mean? Like there were some fun moments. I thought there were some really good uh, speeches. I thought Meryl Streep is amazing and the fact that she can still be so, Seemingly, I mean, I shouldn't be thinking this. She's been nominated 17 times and won three Academy Awards, so clearly she's an amazing actress. But to come off as so surprised and like humble she's and always, flattered, she always is yeah. that it's way. It's perfect. Yeah. And it, you know, the funny thing is, I think it helps her keep winning <laughs> because you know what I mean. Like if they, she got up there and was like not a great speech giver, they'd be like, uh, yeah, and do they you remember the last off, two speeches? They, cut, they don't they ever know. cut her off. Man. Meryl's got she all the time in the world. She wants. But in, and that stuff is really really great. And I think Christopher Plummer's speech was amazing. And uh, though we disagree on on whether he should have gotten the award, I think seeing uh, you know um, Octavia Spencer and uh, Jean Dujardin, two people who most people had never heard of. Uh, before getting nominated for really their big first roles and winning 
uh, and and seemingly in a way that nobody was like, ah, oh, well, I guess you know, first roll, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it really did sort of feel like, and especially uh, you know, Octavia um, Spencer, because she's been around for so long. She's yeah. been like a working, I mean, she is literally the dream personified. She was the receptionist at my first really crappy uh, commercial agency. Oh, wow. Because she was repped by said really crappy commercial agency. So to see that transformation of, you can get a couple jobs here and there, a line here and there in a movie for 10, 15 years in Hollywood, and then you get that one role and you're off. You know did what I mean? Like, that's really great that that exists. Did you think that at any point that uh, the artist should have been nominated for Best Foreign Film? I heard some people talking it's about that. It's the only movie that was actually oh, shot weird. entirely in yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's, we, Hurt but Locker was shot it, entirely in wherever, yeah, really, Middle East or whatever, yeah, but, so but what, it wasn't a foreign film. So what would make a movie that had no... I think that, it's, no, it's, it's, I always no assumed it's the, it's the people making it. Well then, by well, that, by but that, that well, but by that, yeah, Gore like, Verbinski's like Pirates of the Caribbean is a foreign film. Like what? No, I mean, he's he's there. It's an American production company producing that movie. Was it not an American production company producing this? In I don't know. Funded, I thought. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting. Well, clearly the people running it. I mean, I don't like no. I mean, I don't, I, I don't I really know how it works, but I definitely that I thought was actually, curious about your opinion. Yeah, no, yeah. I actually kind of agree with that now that you say that. Even though I don't know, like, I, never, I, don't know, I never thought about certainly it had that. a lot of subtitles. I don't know. I, I want to say I, <laughs> I, I really, I, I enjoyed. I, I, I although it was a, it was a film about American cinema. And you know what I mean? Like there, well, there, it there isn't, matter, supposed, it but it isn't. Cinema supposed Paradiso. To be, cinema yeah, Paradiso. Exactly. No, but I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, but Cinema Paradiso was about American cinema in Cuba, right? No, it's Italian, really, first yeah. of all, but I don't know. But I know. mean, it's not like, it's not like, hey, hey, we're all Americans in America doing a movie about America. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because dances, I mean, that's America, but that's a dance with rules. It's all like Native America. But like, it's all, yeah, Apocalypto, American. Apocalypto isn't a Mayan movie. Yeah, right. There's only Mayan people in that. There is movie. no Mayan or film whatever. There's district. only <laughs> if there was a Mayan film award. Well, it's not. It's I just, not I, I'm, uh, I'm South try, America. I'm trying to figure out what your definition. I don't understand what you. If the film you is know produced won, by you know what a, what a, a French Mayan person, film award no. Last year? What? what do you think it is? I, I think it doesn't only matter. Only where it's set. No, no I think but it you have to make that. If it's if it's a if it's a movie that is Mayan film award speaking French the entire time, that's a foreign movie. If it's all English. That's not a foreign movie. But Apocalypto, they're speaking. <clears throat> I mean, you know what I'm saying? You even said. I don't know what Wait. you're talking about. I don't know. <laughs> I, I have Whatever. no. Let me put it this way. I don't give a crap. <laughs> I have no dog <laughs> in the me, fight. Let me second that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the thing I just want to say before we wrap up is every year they get a phenomenal composer to do the music for just the, the ceremony mm. from John Williams to Jerry Goldsmith, John Barry. Mm -hmm. You know, this year Hans Zimmer and Pharrell. And I like want to own. The soundtrack you to this yeah. year. You can? Yeah, Mike was doing visual effects. How to cool it. is it? They, Amazing. How cool is it that I'm they, so excited. I love the music this year. How I loved cool it. is it that the the French guy yeah, in film said that yeah, that won for best score actually thanked the musicians and complimented the musicians. Yeah. I thought that was really classy. Yeah, that was cool. cool. Yeah. Cool. Leave it to the French. Another nice uh, and congratulations to Alex. Hey, thank Big you. Win. Thank you. Big win. I guess we're uh, I think you watching won last time. year? No, we'd be making breakfast. I might have. I might have. I'm, I'm excited for you won, or I No, you won the summer wage. You won, I you won the summer first, wager, I think. Yeah, so yeah, you did yeah, win last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, who won last year? I thought we tied the summer wager, but... Let's won. not bring you into this. Yeah, you're not involved. Yeah, you're, you're a foreign <laughs> film. <laughs> no, I don't know how the rules work. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We've got more John Carter Ness. But first, our sponsors, Jeff Kanata. I, this is a new sponsor for us. Uh, oh, I'm oh, really is it? excited to, to tell these people about it. Oh. Have you heard, of, there's, a, there's this website, I just discovered this myself. Okay, brand called, new. Called, uh, called Jack Threads. What? Huh. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's, a, it's an online only shopping club. Okay. See, because uh, up till now, uh, I have been going into stores and buying things full price, because I assume that's what it was. Sure. It's what I would have said 10 years ago, but no. Jack Threads been saved been all of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was living in a bubble, in a cloud, in a fumigated area and of that, that terrible... that bubble burst, my friend, about ten years ago. <laughs> ten years ago, I woke up <laughs> as if out of a dream <laughs> of smoke and fumigated area. And full-priced clothing. No one likes that. You know why suckers pay full price? 
don't be a sucker like I may have been at one point. Right. I've renounced that lifestyle. I've seen the light. I've gone through the smoke and Ooh. emerged into a sunny day of beautiful Jack Threads. Jack Threads will hook you up with sweet brands, bro. Hurley Stussy, Kid Robot, others. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the others. Mm -hmm. They will make you look fly. It's others with a Z. You'll catch the <laughs> eye of the, of the person that you want to catch the eye of. And you can save up to 80% off every single day. That's why you don't have to spend full price. You don't have to be a sucker. Just go to Jack Threads, get your hookup, because mm. you can't just walk, waltz right in. You gotta no. get a hookup, because it's a members only. Remember What's how I hookup? said that? Do we have a hookup for we that? We have a hookup, oh, bro. Oh, there you go. We got a hookup, remember how? Yeah. Remember how? The hookup. Yeah, you remember how? Of what? Jackthreads.com <laughs> 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 slash TRS. Oh, that hookup. That hookup. I didn't even know the trailer hitch we got in the back. Do it. Do it. Do it! Do it! Check out tomorrow's show for Secret Identity. Uh, I play a character uh, named Tars Tarkas. He's a Martian. He's nine feet tall. He's a warrior king of his people. They're aboriginal green Martian people called Tharks. Tars Tarkas! <sighs> Tars, Tarkas, Captain John Carter, Virginia. 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 And you've worked with Andrew Stanton before on a Pixar film. Yep. So having him in the live action role, even though you're playing a, an animated character, but you were on set live shooting action, the, shooting, shooting live the action. Scenes, yeah. he, he he did a lot of pre-animation of a, a lot of the a lot of the scenes. That's correct. True. So did you have a lot to work off of? You know, in something of this scale and working with animation, of course, you have to you have to anticipate certain things, mm -hmm. and they're very well storyboarded. And him coming from animation, he's very clear mm -hmm. <laughs> about what kind of uh, shots he has to get, what kind of information, what kind of performance he needs to get for the animators. So there's a big briefing. I really mm -hmm. probably learn more about uh, motion capture than I wanted to know <laughs> by this point. And you're really good at, at walking around in stilts too, uh, which is a skill enough, that anybody enough. should have. Uh, absolutely. And so that that must have been very important. They say that you know if, once you put on the costume, it, it helps your character. You get it into does. the character. It does. I, I imagine that that being on stilts and with the was a huge difference because it transforms your body, it transforms how you move, it transforms your rhythms, and you know when you feel different physically. There's always a shift in how you think, and if there's a shift in how you think, if you direct it in the right way, you can shift it right to the character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's a good, it's a good concrete way to approach a character fit first physically. Um, I, I just talked to Taylor Kitsch. He he says that uh, your relationship was just a horrible relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got me there. <laughs> Also, Willem Dafoe, Who? working with Willem, uh, Willem Dafoe. Mm, no. Yeah, never heard of him. Okay, no. next question. Yeah, please. That was um, weird. What was it work, work, like working with Taylor Kitsch? Uh, just wow. young, up and coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> no, really good. Yeah. I mean, I don't like to usually talk about other actors, but in this case, I can. Okay. Because <laughs> he's cool. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the movie's hung on him. He was, he's, I like him a lot. He's, he's real solid. I like playing scenes with him. Um, you have no idea how disciplined and how physically strong and committed he had to be to do this stuff. He was, he, I really admired him. He, uh, he should be proud of himself. Mm -hmm.